Portable rock art, also known as artifacts, are unrecognized paleo stone art remaining from a widely practiced millennium old tradition. They're also known as microlithic sculptures and anthropomorphic paleolithic sculptures. Now, what I and many colleagues around the country have found is the abundance of artifacts. And one really has to ask the question if artifacts that is embellished stone with ancient art is so abundant, why isn't more known about it? The first reason is, I believe, language. Our whole language of approaching artifacts really disguise the true nature of these incredible creations, which as distinguished from a petroglyph on a two-dimensional surface, and you can see here we have a carved uh, three circles, that's, that's a very small but nevertheless commonly referred to as a petroglyph. Uh, petros meaning stone and glyphos meaning to carve. And I think just about any academian or archaeologist, anthropologist would recognize this as a petroglyph. However, would they recognize the uh, whole stone as an ancient carving? And that's really the crust of the biscuit, as we say. Let's go a little deeper and talk about why we don't see artifacts. In addition to the language that we're looking at a petroglyph concept of a two-dimensional image, in artifacts we have three-dimensional art. And some of the examples we have here in front of me demonstrate a three-dimensional aspect of art. And this is a what I would call a micro-sculpture that's carved right into this particular rock. And uh, when it's dirty and turned in a different direction, perhaps, and uncleaned, it wouldn't be perceived as art at all, anything other than something that's natural. But when looked at as the ancients looked at it and aligned properly, three-dimensional art in many stones found in many locations become available.